find a critical value, because we're going to be using these critical values when we're testing hypotheses. You're going to have critical values for z's, you're going to have critical values for t's, you're going to have critical values for your chi-squared when we're getting confidence intervals on all of these things. I need a number. I need a level of confidence. Anything, I don't care. One of five. Point oh five. Okay. So we're looking for 5% confidence. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find a z alpha over 2. Now, when you see that notation, alpha over 2, you probably think that you just take half of alpha. You just take half of alpha. So then alpha over 2 is 0 0.025. Is that true? Yes. That's half of 5? Good. So now what is that? With these z's, t's, chi's, and all those distributions, boom, we're looking for a specific z value so that together these things are 5%. What's the area in just one? 2.5%. Yeah, 2.5%. So we're trying to find such a z value, a z alpha over 2. So we got to go to the chart. And are we looking up area or are we looking up z value? We're trying to find z value for z area. So we go into our area portion. Recall that our area portion is on the inside of the chart. What are we looking up on the inside of the chart? Which number? So it's 0.025. 0.025. So we're going to go and we're going to find the value that's closest to 0 0.025. 0 0.025. I know that's probably too small for you to see, but I found it. Look, it's right there. Oh, maybe you can't see that. Bam. It's right in there. It corresponds to 1.96. So it corresponds to 1.96 because you're looking at the 1.9 and the 6. When you put that together, it's 1.96. So what is such a z-value? Z-value is 1.96. Some of y'all are like, but what about the negative one? <laughs> yeah, when we use this notation, it's, to the, it's the value of the area to the right. Mm -hmm. So this is, so when you divide it by... <laughs>